Hey guys, today we decided to uh, do our little question and answers a little differently. Yeah, like a small group chat. Yeah, less, less editing, less uh, after effects. And we have so many questions that we would have no other way to actually go through those. And uh, so we just go one by one yeah. and answer your questions. I will start. Um, start. Okay, yeah. start. The Tin Man asks, um, when did the actual idea happen that uh, the three of you wanted to start painting Buddha? Was it something that just happened or was it something that evolved over a long period of time? And lastly, what made you pick the date for launching Painting Buddha? Hmm, that's a question, that's a question for, for you. Well, you know the answers, right? When did it start? 42 days before your 42nd birthday. Well, that's when we actually wrote down the plans for the company. That's true. Uh, the original plan for, for me, basically, for, for doing this was 21 years ago, actually 22 years ago now, uh, when I turned 28. Uh, I always wanted to start a miniature company uh, when I'm 42. That was the, the plan. Uh, it was about as detailed as that. <laughs> there was no more detail. And um, yeah, we started this on our 40s, oh, on our, no. <laughs> on my 42nd birthday. So, um, and it was on the 14th of November. It's the short answer. I could elaborate, but... Yeah, that's the but short answer. <laughs> Marty, Marty would kill me if I actually did. So. <laughs> All right. Go on, Killer. Next one's for you. Okay. Uh, from François Lozach asks, um, Are you now a millionaire with your shop? Just kidding. But still interesting question to know if you guys are living with money obtained from miniature. Um, are we millionaires? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're so hungry. <laughs> actually, we're not hungry. We're actually, I'm kind of sick from the lunch today. <laughs> no, uh, we're not doing this, obviously. Um, no, and, no. and yes, um, we, we will try to live from this or off this. Uh, ben and Marty are full-time employees. Um, yeah. And um, so far, everything is going very well. But uh, obviously, we've invested a lot, or I've invested a lot in uh, all of the equipment, all of the purchases for DVDs, boxes and so on, that it's uh, not possible yet to actually live off the profits. Yeah. Um, I think that, again, is the short answer, Marty. Hopefully soon with your help. Yes. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> Ben. Um, a question from Skelet S. <laughs> it's a question from Michael. Um, Michael sent him a saver, so he's asking, uh, how much does he owe you for the postage? 1060. Next question. <laughs> yeah, next, next question. <laughs> the fiery logo and the calendar are cool. How it, it, much? It's the same game. Yeah. What? Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, the fiery logo and the calendar are cool. How much time went into making all of this? <laughs> well, <laughs> too much. Yeah, yeah. Way, way, way too much. Um, actually, the logo, for example, is a pre-purchased uh, composition. But uh, for, uh, I think the, the longest uh, we worked on was the advanced calendar, the first yeah. uh, answer map machine. Um, I well, you did all of the graphics. Uh, you did some of the graphics, and I worked forty-six hours straight to actually get this implemented. So, yeah, the second day was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fun. <much. laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. The words. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> Stefan Johnson again asks, <laughs> "What do you guys think of all Kickstarters nowadays? Any good?" I think it's a, it's a hard question and you have to decide it for yourself. I think Kickstarters really uh, take a lot of the money from the market that uh, and people are not buying uh, so much stuff in the stores. So, but there are quite some interesting ideas. Mm. Um, I, I think um, Kickstarters, the original intention of Kickstarter is a good, is a good one. Uh, Kickstarter is supposed to be something for some guys that don't have the money but have a great idea for a product or a service or whatever. Um, and they get the money to kickstart their business. So I think the original idea is great. But if you look at all of the big companies out there, uh, all of the big, can we say the names? No, we shouldn't say the names. Yeah. Legal departments say no. <laughs> Legal departments say no. <laughs> but uh, they're, taking, they're taking a lot of market, uh, money out of the market. Uh, they have um, professional design teams for everything. So how can, you, how can you actually compete as a small company that doesn't have any money with one of these large companies? And pretty much all they're doing is having a production paid a year in advance. Yeah. And I personally do have a problem with that. And then of course there's other, other initiatives that we also sponsor um, that are doing the opposite, like the, the art book from uh, Curse Monkeys yeah. that, that we just sponsor and so on. So I think you have to pick and choose. Uh, the last thing I want to say just to be short and 
terse on my answer <laughs> is that um, we have to think of the retailers as well because the retailers, the small independent retailers, yeah. suffer the most from Kickstarters. None of the items that are sold <clears throat> will land in the store. The market is pretty much dried up and then the rest goes to the stores and uh, then the hype is over. So I think there's some issues with that. Not, I'm not ruling out that we will also do a Kickstarter in the future, but uh, as long as we don't have to, uh, we won't, won't yeah. do it. Yeah. Uh, so once the run of target identified has sold out, uh, will you be putting it into production again? Simple answer, no. Uh, and that is definitely true for the budget box and the supporter box. So uh, if those units are sold out and we are about 75% sold out, uh, there will be no further production. <coughs> it's another one for you. Mm. What was the hardest part about filming target identified? <laughs> well, that's actually a very tough question. I think the decision to uh, do it again was the hardest. Uh, we weren't happy with the first quality. We invested over a thousand hours and a couple of uh, thousand euros in the first run, so to speak. And we weren't happy with the quality for you guys. And we said, no, we're not going to release this. And we did it again. So that was the best part, I think, yeah, the best decision. Yeah. But it was really the hard one. Yeah, yeah definitely. For all of us. <laughs> they both killed me a little bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. But just a little bit. Just a little bit. Softly. <laughs> so a question from Zap. Good Lord, when do you sleep? Now, obviously, you do have the wrong address. This is painting Buddha. This is not the good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Kran asks, uh, have you ever felt in this year that all your hard work was not enough or not rightly recognized? No. Not me, at least. I would say yes, DHL. <laughs> no, we can't say company names. <laughs> no, um, no I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say. No. We had uh, such uh, great feedbacks yeah. and, and uh, posts about our product. So yeah, we're happy uh, you, uh, you guys enjoyed what we were doing yeah. all day. And I think it's probably even more so that um, we are surprised about it. Maybe we were afraid a little bit, but the amount of support we receive, uh, the amount of uh, followerships, likes on Facebook, uh, even the orders is just insane. I mean, uh, we would have dreamed of this yeah. in our craziest <laughs> dreams, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. I mean, it's a lot of fun. And uh, so I would say, I would actually turn this around on the opposite of this question. It has been a wide ride and has been a fun ride so far. Yeah. All right, uh, my question to you guys is short and simple. Will there be a season with a fantasy hero like a dwarf captain or similar? Who asked that? Um, Michael Hansen asked that. Yes. Well, probably yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, one out outlook for the future, because we're talking a lot of the future also today, um, is be, that yeah. we will ask you what we will produce. Yeah. Uh, we have a pretty cool ideas in, in this area, uh, how to do this. And um, it's not going to be like in January, on January 1st, yeah. but we're working on that. So. Yeah, we want to involve you guys yeah. into the whole process. Yeah. So. Well, we work for you, and rather than finding out after the fact that we did something you <laughs> did or did not like, we'd rather ask before the fact, which is kind of clever. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of clever, yeah. yeah. All right. Smart. <laughs> Smart. Michael Hansen again. Uh, <laughs> so my question, do Painting Buddha plan a tutorial DVD especially for base building? Then, Tutorial DVD for base building. What do you think? Brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. <laughs> Done. Yeah, we just <laughs> yeah. Done. And, I, and I have to say, um, season one point three and one point two, not only for the top pack, the top painters out there, but also for the army painters. I think those are both a must. If you if you think about trying painting Buddha out and, and what we're doing, buy those two. They're incredibly inexpensive, especially with the early early beard special <laughs> until the end of the year. Cheap, cheap. Uh, those will be awesome, definitely. So. Yeah, um, another question, uh, Sean Fulton. Um, when will your American classes begin? Oh, the American classes? I would say probably Friday evening about 6. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Saturday, 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 Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I hope yeah. you prepare dinner. Yeah, it's going to be long nights though. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Peter Rodway has a pretty long question, and I, I found that a very interesting question. Um, as the hobby grows and painting rather than gaming becomes a larger norm rather than have to do for games, where do you see the role of teams? Uh, will being in a team be an important aspect for the top painters? And what are the benefits? So far we have the painting Buddhas, also the massive Voodoo and the Spanish team and so on. You want to answer this one? <laughs> no, you can. <laughs> no. Can you answer this one? <laughs> no, I can't. 
No. Yeah, well, it is important in some kind of way. Yeah. It's it's nice to exchange with uh, friends and, and other artists to well to to grow your own skills. Yeah. It's nice to get feedback on. And it's fun. Yeah. It, yeah, and it's yeah, fun and it's uh, it's always uh, you push and. Each other, so yeah, that's so pretty the fun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's what pushes us. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I agree as well. I actually think that uh, teams will in the future uh, play a much more important role. And uh, my role model for this would be esports. Um, I think uh, we are uh, even nerdier than those guys, and we'll see how that, where that goes. <laughs> Yeah, Marty probably thinks so. <laughs> this guy is talking crazy. Yeah, well, I'm thinking, who are those guys anyway? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Uh, no, Wendy Ruff asks, sometimes perhaps you will travel to a US show. Well, we did. Uh, yes, we did. Um, we did uh, the US Games Day last year. And I really think about going to the um, Forge Valley show next year. Yeah. yeah. So, yes, absolutely. Francois Lozac uh, asks, why did you choose to answer my question? <laughs> We ask, we answer every question. Yeah. Yes. And that was actually a very good question. I think. Yeah. Yes. Fix seventy eight. Fix seventy eight. Fix seventy eight. Um, a so easy one. The answer to life, uh, the universe, and everything is. Is that then the DVD starts at uh, forty two euro? Is that then why the DVD is cut? What? Years? Yes! <laughs> I think you might be onto something there. Yes. I, clever. I think yes. <laughs> yes, 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 clever guy. I think it's yeah. an obvious strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the, the 42 is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's good. That's the way it should be. Okay, Peter, our good friend Buffo, asks uh, Is there a roadmap, roadmap to enlarge the products and the team of Painting Buddha? <laughs> well, he actually clarified this. He said, actually, enlarging the product won't, products won't be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, so, um, um, no, uh, our product line definitely will be enlarged. As I said last year, and as I also said on uh, some occasions this year, DVDs will not be the only thing we do. We have uh, some way more plans. I don't want to. Spoiling it. <laughs> I don't want to tease here. So, and uh, I think there will be uh, later on there will be a question about uh, expanding the team of painting Buddha, and then uh, we'll talk about this later. Mm -hmm. Gorman, what's the most surprising thing you've ever found in your beard? Well, first of all, my most surprising thing is that it's Marty's turn to ask a question. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what is the most surprising thing I found in my beard? And one of the reasons why I decided to keep it. Uh, is uh, no, not a fist. That's not very surprising. <laughs> <laughs> Working with you two guys. <laughs> uh, actually, I found disrespect in there, which is kind of interesting. Um, a lot of people, like Banks uh, and, and, and all these kind of uh, people that I surrounded myself with for the last twenty-one years, uh, look at you uh, differently, and they treat you very, very differently. And uh, to me, that is a very unique experience, and uh, makes it actually easier to. Uh, uh, you kind of differentiate between the nice guys and the not so nice guys. Yeah. So I can only recommend just going somewhere like a bum and see how they treat you. It's a good way of finding out. Yeah. Well, okay. Paul Asterley asks, seeing your love for miniatures and the hobby in general, would you consider the future producing models on a gaming platform? Or would that detract you from original ideas and visions? That is part of our original ideas and visions. <laughs> I guess that sums it up pretty well as an answer. Okay, yes. let's go with the next one. Yes. Um, Benjamin Water, Benny asks, um, question for you. Have you thought about an eight, a 1080p movie file for download? Uh, code for that comes with the board season or offering a Blu-ray version of the painting series? <clears throat> yes to both of those questions. Um, Blu-ray uh, is way too expensive. It just costs six and a half thousand euros to be allowed to make copies uh, of, of Blu-ray. As a company, <clears throat> so for that, for us, it was no uh, option. Not really. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> and and the second one is uh, download. Uh, yes, we are uh, not only thinking; we have that in the plans, uh, but we will not. Probably not. I wouldn't say not, but we will probably not do download only because we strongly yeah. believe that having the miniatures and having something of collector's value uh, uh, in your hands. Uh, it's just part of the experience and part of the fun. Yeah, and it's it's so it's important nice. for for us as miniature guys. It's so important to have a nice thing, a nice product in hand. Like stuff to touch. Yeah. 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 
And uh, I think downloading only just uh, takes away from the whole experience. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, Skyl, will mm. there be some kind of uh, subscription uh, for your images and DVDs? Yes. Yes. Very short answer. We are, we are planning on something like this. It's again not around the corner, but uh, definitely the plan for next year. Yes. In the not too distant future. Soon, TM. Sean Fulton asks, do you have a favorite piece you have done? Not necessarily one that is technically the best, it could be a sentimental one. Just start yourself. No, I've, I don't prefer one in particular. As many I don't like anymore. I got some of those too. We all get those. Uh, to be honest. How much you been? Uh, yeah, I think I have. Uh, I really have one of uh, my favorite works is the the drop pot I made for uh, Punch Game Day. Mm -hmm. It's I, I really like it. The color is still so vibrant and refreshing mm -hmm. when you see it. I had it uh, in the shop for quite some time and uh, I just took it back to my place. And it's uh, it's really beautiful to see it again. And yeah, I think that's my favorite mm -hmm. because it has also a lot of storytelling elements and small details and it was. Also a fun travel to go there and present it. We went there with a whole big group of Spanish people, French people, and it was a good experience. Nice. Yeah, for me it's also very difficult. I have um, multiple nice uh, favorite ones, basically. My first demon, obviously, is something you don't forget, uh, even if I got extremely lucky that year. <laughs> Not only was Ben in the jury, but also there were no miniatures in that, in that category that year. And the best one got disqualified, so... <laughs> but nobody knows that after the fact. Oops. <laughs> so, but I also enjoyed the, the one that I painted with Rafa, and um, and I also enjoyed my first one, the starting pump wing. Yeah. I got another one from Skeletetes, uh, whatever he's called here. <laughs> okay, we can't read this out loud. Skeleton. Skeletetes. <laughs> Sharing like a bitch. No, we can't say that on camera. Ah, okay. Uh, it's, spelled with a, it's, it's spelled with a star. <laughs> Sharon, like hey, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Another question: How many miniatures do you own exactly? Well, I, I do ex own exactly a few. Some more. I think the official term is uh, metric shit ton. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, yeah. it's some somewhere. It's not over nine thousand, but I think it's over six thousand. So it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. The next question is from uh, Benjamin Walter. Will you stick with 54 mm figures uh, for the DVD sets or will you change the scale in the next seasons? Yeah, we'll definitely mix up the scales. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly yeah. the same question as before, <coughs> and exactly the same answer as before. We'll do whatever you want. Just yeah, but unlike Marty, who not always does whatever I want. <laughs> 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 but, but then again, sometimes I don't do what you want, so that's alright. <laughs> no, but we'll definitely do what you want. So. <laughs> Is that all for this one? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's uh, all for today. Um, uh, and uh, we'll have another one of these rounds tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Share and enjoy. Battle Cry. 42!